We're looking at a minimum of 50 cats from this case. Dozens of cats removed from a property in Niles that Animal Welfare League confirms was operating as a cat rescue. So far in just the last two days, 44 cats were removed from the rescue's care. And humane agents say they still need to go back to the facility to get more. We made a map to give you a better idea of where we're talking about. The rescue was on Higley Avenue, right off of Robbins Avenue. With the latest on this case, here's Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley. Humane agents with the Animal Welfare League are continuing their investigation after removing more than three dozen cats from a home on Higley Avenue in Niles. Cats in feces filled traps and kittens in dirty cages. These pictures from the Animal Welfare League show the conditions inside what CEO Lori Shandor confirms was the animal rescue called Niles Cat Crusade. It was an animal rescue um, that was operating under these conditions. Humane agents were allowed into the home today and removed 25 cats so far. Shandor says they had been to the property Monday and were denied entry, but removed 13 cats in live traps outside. Investigators first learned about the case from a concerned citizen. While we were beginning to investigate that location, we received a call from um, a veterinarian that works with TNR of Warren about the state of some cats that had arrived there for spay neuter surgery. Shandor says those six cats came from the property on Higley too. She says because of their medical and physical state, many of the cats seized Monday had to be put down. There was severe urine scalding um, from them being in their own urine. Um, many of the cats also had bat, uh, severe matting um, from, of feces all around them. To have them residing in a live trap for weeks on end is simply inhumane and cruel. Charges are pending in the case. Shandor says people who take on the role of an animal rescue should be held to a higher standard. The idea of somebody taking an animal um, from a, a less than ideal place and Putting them into these horrendous conditions is just, um, it, it's saddening and it is devastating. In Niles, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.